Hi everyone, Stu here from the Pack Track. Just doing a quick video to take you through the Root Optimizer. This is a app that I created a few years ago and we've used it for two scenarios in particular. Firstly, for trip planning, determining the quickest route through a whole bunch of places that you plan to visit over your trip. And the second one is for day-to-day -day sightseeing in a city that you might be visiting. So I'll just give a, an example of how it's used and show you the features. All right, you've got a start point, an end point, and waypoints. The waypoints is necessary. You need to have four of those in. The, uh, the whole purpose of this app is to optimize those the route through those waypoints, so they are necessary. A starting point and an end point you don't need. However, a starting point does make a lot of sense. An end point, not so much. You might not care where you end up. For each of these form items, you have three ways of entering the data. You can just write, type the text in. With the waypoints, every new line is a new waypoint. You can right click on the map. It brings up a menu where you can add a start point, add an end point, or add a waypoint. So you can go through individually and add all your points in that way. But probably the easiest way to use it is to let the start point be your location, the device location, as long as that's enabled. So clicking on that loads our location. Sometimes it takes a little bit of time to determine, but I'm in uh, Witchford, a small village in the UK. With the endpoint, you can just say equals, which will just make it equal the start point. And with the waypoints, uh, if you aren't going to type them all in individually, I have got a set of predetermined waypoints that you can use and this this list will grow of waypoints that I have but for starters for an example if I type at euro caps that's all the European capitals so when I go click opt optimize it will determine the quickest route from the start point to the end point via all of these capitals so let's just click optimize and see how we go the first thing it needs to do is geocode the locations. So this is changing the place names or the addresses into lat longs that can be used for the optimization. The next thing it does is it runs the algorithm to determine the quickest point through all of those positions. So here we go. We've quite quickly it's determined a route which looks very much to be an optimal route. That did that for about uh, 52 odd, where we are with 53 waypoints, it's quickly determined the quickest route. Right. If you've picked some points that you don't want to go to, so up here in Iceland, we're not, this is going to be too difficult for us to include in our trip. So you can right click on that, you make sure you're over the actual point, and say delete location, and that's gone. And we'll, let's get rid of Ireland as well, sorry, Dublin, because an island. Uh, is too difficult. We're already in the UK, so we'll keep that. Uh, Cyprus is going to be pretty difficult to get to as well, and Malta, get rid of that too. So you can go through individually, right clicking and taking out Kazakhstan, it's a little bit out of the way as well. It's Azerbaijan, uh, yep. Go there to watch the football. Okay, and do that. As much as we like and now we click optimize again it's doing a new optimization geocoding the location again and this is a, an easier solution to find when you're looking at a big sample set it is more difficult to determine the the quickest route in a reasonable amount of time it is a complicated mathematical problem the what's called the traveling salesman problem so Doing small numbers, 60 locations, uh, 100 locations, we can it can solve that pretty quickly and be pretty accurate. But when we're looking at, change the tab, at 360 odd locations, it's a different story. It still gives a very, very good solution. However, it's not perfect and it's visually you can see that there are some errors. Okay, so I built in a feature to allow you to manually go through and tweak uh, the route locally. For example, here, 
All right, this is definitely not optimal. Any time that the root crosses over itself, it's a suboptimal root. A optimal root will never have the root crossing over itself. So if you click a segment of the root, it will do a quick optimization just around that segment of, um, of the root. So I'll click here and it's just doing lo location tweaking and that should hopefully fix both these issues up. Yep. So that there's solved just in that local area has solved quite neatly the uh, the quickest route. So you can also tweak again if you think that it's not quite right, but just a little bit, just a little bit more time over the whole map is needed. You can press tweak, and you might fix up just a few little things overall. But it is definitely easier to do it manually to zoom in. Okay, the last feature I'll go through is the directions. Once you've got a route. If you click on directions, it's going to determine the turn by turn instructions for getting along that route. So basically the road, the road instructions. So I'll click that. It's going to take a little bit of time. Um, actually, it doesn't take too long at all. And down here, once it loads, it, all the instructions are listed in this table just underneath the map, which appears you can print or you can download the GPX to put into your GPS. Now, if you've got a, a big set of points like this, as far as turn by turn instructions goes, this is quite a big file. So you print this out, this is going to take pages and pages. And when you convert it to a GPX file, it's going to be a very large GPX file and your GPS is unlikely to be able to accept that. But if you were doing sightseeing in London, say, this, these turn by turn instructions, even for 50 odd points, is going to be a lot smaller because the points are much closer together. Okay, that's everything. If you think this is useful, please give it a go and give me some feedback on uh, what you think and any suggestions you might have. Uh, please tag and share if you can think of anyone who would be interested in it or tweet about it um, and share this video. And I'll leave the link to this. Uh, website in the comments and I will leave the sets of predetermined waypoints in the comments as well. Alright, thanks.